So part of the goal of this summit is to think creatively about how do we have a growing movement around the country to empower workers, to give them a sense of possibility. And we're seeing some of that happening here, some of the people who are representing here. Workers are organizing online at sites like coworker.org to fight for new protections. Fast food workers like Terrence are organizing for a race with the support of the labor movement, and they've scored major victories in New York and L.A. We've got the National Domestic Workers Alliance, an organization of caregivers and housekeepers and nannies who teamed up with care.com to make sure these workers got the support that they deserve. It's called the Fair Care Pledge. And employers who take the pledge voluntarily agree to pay a fair wage and set a clear example and provide for paid time off. So there are good things happening in America, but the question is how do we scale up? How do we draw best practices and start changing mindsets? How do we help working folks and their families get ahead? So we're here today to think about where do we go next. We've got to ask ourselves, what does the next generation of American jobs look like? How do we make sure those jobs reward hard work at a time of shrinking union membership, but a growing number of digital tools for organizing? How do we make sure everyone who works hard has a chance to get ahead? So that's why you're all here today, to come up with some answers. Uh, I've got ideas, but this is a hard problem, and it's going to require creativity and effort from all of us.